in our previous examples and working with Python and JSON, we assume that we knew the key. So JSON supports uh, dictionaries and lists and dictionaries are sets of key value pairs. And we assume that we knew the keys, the, the names of the, the properties, and then we, we use them. But now I wanna look at an example where we sort of assume that we don't know the keys and then we are going to sort of uh, access them, access the names of the keys in Python. So the code for this example can be found at the URL scene. Here we go. So let's just have a peek at the JSON that we'll be reading. We've looked at this JSON previously. It's the Internet Movie Database uh, JSON file then starts with the square bracket. So it is a list of dictionaries, and those dictionaries have property like movie title, IMB, rank, movie, year, etc. Okay, so previously we've, know, we've assumed that we knew these keys, and then we used the, those names of the keys to access the values. This time we're going to be getting in code both the value and the key, the key and the value sort of in code. Okay. Import JSON, import the operating system, change the directory to where the Python is located because the JSON is located next to it. With that file open, read that data and then uh, interpret it as JSON, parse it as JSON. So now movies is the information that was in that JSON and we know from having seen the file that it is a list. Okay. And we have access to the type information. So we could, if we didn't know quite how it started, we could sort of ask if it starts as a list to this, if it starts as, uh, dictionary do that, but uh, we're going to assume that we know at least that much that it started off as a list. So movies is a list, and so I'm starting right into looping over that list. So a movie is one of those uh, dictionaries that are in the list. So this is a movie in my loop, a movie. Okay, then I have this sort of nested loop and I've taken a movie, which is a dictionary, and applied this dot items method to it. And that is going to allow me to loop through the key value pairs. So I'm saying uh, four key comma values. I'm going to have access uh, to the key and the value to a given dictionary. And the items is going to sort of make this uh, something that I can loop over. And then I'm going to print out uh, the key and the value separated by this two dashes. Um, when I'm done with a movie, I'm going to print a blank line and then I'm going to print that for all of the movies. So here is the result. So we see here, we come across the first movie and we're seeing here is the key and here is the value. And then when we're done a movie, we have our blank line and then we move into the next movie. So nowhere did we assume that we had a property called movie title. We just sort of discovered it using this items uh, method of a dictionary. So that's what I wanted to show you. All the times before we had assumed that we knew the file that we knew uh, the, the keys and now uh, we do have access to the key information so we don't need to uh, always have that if we don't have it it's easier much easier if we do have it